YouTube, what's going on? It's AD the Barber. But I'm no longer going by AD the Barber, and so this will be the last video that I introduce myself as AD the Barber. I'm now strictly going by just Adrian the Barber. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known a few months back that that's where I started to go by. Um, I think that basically for branding purposes, that's the name of my barbershop, Adrian Sports Barbershop. And on top of that, I just felt AD the Barber was too generic. There's probably like 5,000 other barbers out there. I mean, AD is a super popular initials, initials to have. And I just felt like, you know, Adrian sounded better and it went better with what I'm trying to do. Now, I've been gone from YouTube for like the last seven, eight months. Haven't posted any videos, um, but I have a ton of new information and videos to share with you guys. And as before, they're going to be on the same schedule um, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I've just been so busy over like this last year, year and a half. Um, and I, I've tried to make the YouTube videos. I've tried to be consistent with it. And now I finally hit that spot to where I can actually take the time to do my videos. Um, create great videos, great haircuts, and teach you guys a lot of information. Now, as you guys can see behind me, I am standing in a barber shop. This is my first like YouTube video I actually done in a real barber shop. Um, previously, if you guys didn't know, I wasn't a licensed barber, and uh, I had a few obstacles standing in my way to become a licensed barber. Um, I lived an hour away from the school, the, the closest school to me, and making that drive every day was tough. When you know, cutting hair was what I was doing to support myself. So if you guys watched a lot of my old videos, you guys know opening a barbershop was one of my dreams. One day I was cutting hair at home and I was just like, you know, if I ever want to get any farther, if I ever want to reach my goals, then I'm going to have to go get my barber's license. So back in January 2016, I actually went to barber school and I finished it in November 2016. So yeah, I'm actually in my own barbershop now. I opened up back in November 17th, 2016. I've been open for like seven, going on eight months. And uh, I mean, so far everything has been going great. And you know, this just gives me more information that I can share with you guys, not just from a barber's point of view, but from a barbershop owner point of view as well. Another thing I did um, back in March, I went, actually uh, flew down to Atlanta and I learned how to do the men's hair replacements. I don't know if you guys have all seen those yet, but if you haven't, go on Instagram, check out Samaj, um, and you can check out my Instagram. I, I got uh, some male hair replacement units I did on there. And um, you know, it's something new in the industry and. To, to stay fresh and to stay on top of the trends, you know, you always got to be willing to learn new things in this industry. Speaking of Instagram, I got like 32,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I only got like 950 on Instagram. So get over, if you got an Instagram, get over, follow me on Instagram. I got a ton of great pictures on there. Like I said, I got the hair replacement pictures. Um, you know, and that's something I'm looking forward to teaching here in the future on YouTube. I can't do it right now, but uh, in the future, you know, I'll, I do plan on sharing how to do the men's hair replacement unit. Another thing I've been working on, me and my buddy Akeem Akwe, he's a barber here in Minnesota up in Minneapolis. He owns Akwe Sports Barbershop. But we're working on a 10 city tour right now. Um, we start actually July 23rd and we're going to 10 cities around the US. We're going to like San Francisco, LA, Dallas, Chicago. Um, I don't know them all right now. But uh, make sure you follow us both on Instagram. I'll put his information for Instagram in the description. And you guys, and I, I'm gonna follow up in a future video, but uh, if you guys follow us on Instagram, then you know, you'll know you get the post about um, our tour dates, where we're going, where we're gonna be at, and you know any other information you need. But I'll also, you can hit me up on here, and I'll give you guys the information as well when it's available. Another thing I've been working on is a barbering podcast. Me and one of my barbers here in my shop, um, are planning on releasing a bar barbering podcast that we'll do once a week. So you guys make sure you stay tuned. Um, I'll be shooting the information out on Instagram and here on YouTube as well. But that's enough of me talking. Um, like I said, I'm standing in my barbershop and I feel like I owe you guys a tour. Welcome to Asian Sports Barbershop. Come check me out. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of my barber shop which is right here i'm standing outside right now show you guys the little complex i'm in down there on the end right there it's a, a chiropractic place we have an alteration place some construction company um computer place then you got the shop i don't got my sign up yet it's coming soon though and then a uh, liberty income tax kim's nail salon so i'm in a pretty busy strip out here and I get a ton of drive-by traffic. This is 37th Street, super busy. One of the busiest streets in town. You can't really tell right now, but. And I have my sign that's gonna be going up there and that for a lease spot. You can see, got letters falling down. I need to get that fixed. But I'm gonna take you guys inside now. Show you guys what the shop looks like. Uh-huh, you see that? Adrian the Barber, baby. Adrian Sports Barber Shop. Got the hours on the door. 
take you guys inside quick. Damn, here's the shop. Few things still in the works. Got a big wall mural coming up here. It's like 16 feet by eight feet. It's gonna cover up that whole wall. Um, as you can see over here, this is where I have my camera up. When I'm recording my videos, um, just a little waiting section, table with some magazines. Oh goodness, let me show you the refrigerator. That thing is bare. Uh-uh, not a good look. Oh, we got one pack of cookies left. Looks like we better get on that. Get that filled up. Uh, got the Martin Luther King picture. This, this picture, man, it just shows like everything that a black barbershop is. Look how packed it is. You got people over there sleeping. You got guys over there talking. Powerful picture. Oh, snack money. Let me fix that. Dang. No. Whoop. Got my boy Big Mike in the cut. Anybody looking for a car? You in the area? My boy, my boy Big Mike. He gonna get you. He gonna get you taken care of. Uh huh. Smile, big boy. Okay. Just a little reception area over here. Got some more waiting. Got the chess table. Everything. Everybody thinks they're a chess king. I have the chess king here. Anybody wants some, you're in the area, stop by, get me down the chest. I don't know nothing about no chess. Chess is not my game. Um, over here, got the Xbox with the TV. And then this is where my products are gonna be once I start selling products. Haven't really started selling too much. Got the uh, autograph Everson Griffin, about to go on the wall. I'm not a Vikings fan, I'm a Chiefs fan. I'm from Kansas City. But since I'm in Minnesota, I gotta rep the Vikings. Plus my boy, Marcus Sherrills. He is the punt returner, returner slash cornerback for the Vikings. This is official game worn jersey autograph. Yes, sir. I know you guys seen him on Sundays. Uh huh. Bam. Let me get over to the stations in a second. But right here, I just got some more waiting. Not too special. Nice, comfortable chairs. Got the TV. Like I said, I got this big wall mural. It's going from this outlet right here to that outlet, and it's going to be the whole size of the wall. So that should be done in the next couple of weeks or so. I'm going to show you guys that when I get it done. I'm going to do a vlog video just to kind of show you guys where the barbershop is going to be at then because I still got a lot of things that I'm changing up in here. And, you know, as I go putting together um, over here, I got my boy Tyler Kane's jersey. He plays professionally over in France. Big dog. Check him out. He got a Wikipedia page. Matter of fact, oh. And then my boy Tim Nella, you know, I got to represent the local sports team. Um, he's the owner of a semi-pro football team, and he's a player as well. And so, you know, I had to put my boy's jersey on the wall. We grew up together, one of my best friends. Um, let's see, bam. Oh, 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 let me show you some more. One of my clients, man, he actually gave me to this, gave me this as a gift. It's Muhammad Ali and Ken Norton, autographed by Ken Norton. That's a tight pick. It's all verified and everything let me see if i can uh, zoom in let me see yeah psa and dna i don't know what that shit means but it's verified then over here nobody wants none of this i am the champion if you want to see me bring your money can't nobody beat me in this game i'm oh you seen that <laughs> You seen that? Okay, this ain't nothing. This just the back uh, storage room. It's a mess. I ain't gonna show y'all the restroom. Got the back room. Wait a second. Oh, oh, nothing too special. Just a little back room. Oh, uh, now we got to the important part to where we make money and the stations. Just got these new chairs. These aren't the chairs I started with. I had some uh, cheaper black chairs in here, you know, when I first started. And then, you know, as I, um, shoot, as, 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 I, as the shop grew, you know, I, I expanded, I got better chairs. And so um, that's the plan with everything in here to, to keep expanding. I hope, I hope to one day be able to get rid of this basketball game and put two more chairs in there and get rid of that chess table and put another chair in there. You know, that's, that's my plan in the future as I can find more barbers. You know, I'm in the city right now. There's not too many barbers, but hopefully soon um, be able to get these uh, chairs all filled up. I have all these chairs filled up actually right now, the five I got in here. Um, I got my boy Dre, he's down there, my boy T20. Uh, that's my station right there. Um, 
it's my boy Chris's station and this is just a part-time station um for a dude he's in school so when he gets done he'll be down he'll be uh down here cutting but yeah you know this right here this is this is tight ain't no other shop got this i can promise you that but you know when you go into a restaurant and they have their little wishing well and you can flip the coins in there well our fatigue mats that we stand on we actually put quarters in there you see that about to fill all these holes with quarters you see my station yeah that boy got a whole bunch of quarters we probably only got like 40 50 dollars in quarters in here right now not too many this is my station right here it's a mess right now excuse the mess you know i got a little bit of everything on my clippers but yeah this, this is the shop this is the shop i came up from my mama's basement boy my mama's basement then i went to my apartment two bedroom apartment turned my two bedroom apartment one bedroom into a barber shop and then i was cutting out of my my basement again after i moved from that apartment and uh yeah, I've just been, I've just been grinding. I went over to a little shop um, before I started school, and it was just me and a lady in there. She was doing women's hair, I was doing men's hair, and you know, I got to the point I was like, man, I'm, I'm trying to do better. I want my own shop. And within a matter of a year, I went to school. I got my shop. This is where I'm at now. This is what I'm doing. This is where I'll be recording all my videos. This is my home away from home. I spend. 80 hours a week here 80 hours a week and i love every single second of it so yeah i hope you guys enjoy my shop as much as i enjoy my shop you know that's it there's nothing else to it it's not very big but it's mine yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the shop tour i appreciate you guys tuning into my videos and all the support that i've gotten even over the time where i wasn't posting videos i mean i still got so many questions and you know people were oh we miss you ad come back oh no no they weren't like that but uh yeah man i'm just i love the support that i get from youtube um and i just can't wait to share all this new information i got with you guys again um please make sure you subscribe to the channel new videos every sunday tuesday and thursday that's all i got for this make sure you follow me on instagram subscribe how many times i'm gonna say subscribe subscribe so Sub subscribe again and again create fake accounts and subscribe no i don't want no fake followers but uh yeah like i said can't wait to uh, share all this new information with you guys. I'm going to holler at you. I'm out. Hey, niggas.